Good morning, dear teacher and colleagues. My name is Nancy Ludeña, and in this opportunity, I am going to record my first video about the lesson plan. It is called The Dreaming. I am going to share with you my screen to explain a little more about it. That is my first picture. Lesson plan number one, the dreaming. And in this opportunity, the students talk about what they want to do if they had something. Okay, so as you know, first of all, we have to set the objectives. In this case, for the four abilities, for speaking, they are able to talk about bad habits, imaginary situation and wishes. For, um, for reading, they are able to identify if a test is informative or persuasive. For listening skills, they are able to listen to and understand information which describes imaginary situations. And for writing, they will able to write about imaginary situation using the second conditional, that is focus on the grammar structure. Uh, in this case, a methodology and a strategy will be focused on communicative competence. Though, so in this case, the communicative language teaching and the direct method because it gives opportunity to students to, to learn by doing uh, in a natural way with the direct method. Uh, as a strategies, the class work where teacher and students can review answers and the group work, especially for working a project and completing some worksheets. Next, the anticipatory test, you know that's very important because it is uh, vital to focus in the topic and after that, uh, focus in the instructor. That is the, the, main, the main thing in communicative language teacher method. So in this case, the teacher uh, set a conversation. First of all, she, in my case, I present some flashcards with some pictures about a car, about a beach, hotel and swimming pool, and infer to a student Imagine, imagine what can you do if they had a car? What could you do if they had money to travel around the world? Where, where could they go if they have, had money? And some things like that. So in this case, it's very important the one man activity. You've seen the pictures before, they can imagine what could you do if you had money so maybe the answer uh, the students answer uh, if i had money i could buy a car maybe they don't answer it respecting the structure grammar correctly however teacher can help them and write the sentence on the board if i had money i could buy a car uh, what could you do if you have a house, for example? Oh my goodness, if I had a house, I could have a pool. For example, it's very important teacher gives some explanation if they don't understand what is the meaning of some words. But that is the, the main objective to anticipatory test, review the previous knowledge of the students. And you, go, you can present in my case, I present this picture and I ask the students, what could you do if you had a farm? Okay, so there are many questions they can answer. But in this case, I suggest this. If I had a farm, I would have a course. That is our man activity. And maybe students can enter in a kind of competition um, regarding with some points, uh, some extra points for it for a lesson or for an evaluation if they answer with the correct word and using the correct structure. Okay, so look at this magic, my dear students, could the teacher say? And that is the first activity in the student book. A student book open, <coughs> open in this activity and they have to complete with the words of the word bank. They are distracted, they dreaming, fantasizing, procrastinating. Maybe they don't know what is the meaning of the each word. So, um, teacher motivate them, look at the picture 
and try to guess according to the text, the context, according to the sentence, which word fits better in each blank space. So in this case, Paul is daydreaming about swimming in the sea. I look at the picture number one and swimming, maybe they know what the meaning is swimming. So they have to relate by the context, the meaning of the vocabulary words. So what about the son? Who is son first of all? Or oh, is a boy or is a girl? So uh, students say it's a boy. So maybe these and these are discarded. Maybe you have letter E or letter D. What do you think is it? And distracting. Son is distracting Matthew because we have two children, two boys. Thing is a snippet about playing football. Who is so letter D is is this thinking about playing football? So in this case, what is the correct word? Dreaming. What about Sally? Sally is a name of the girl. So students can infer which is Sally because uh, because there are only two uh, two girls. Uh, Sally is pregnant about eating as much chocolate as she can. Chocolate, okay, so she is uh, with chocolate. And the last one, Linda, because there is no more option, it's fantasizing because she doesn't like writing reports, that is Linda. Okay, after the students complete with the, the number of the sentences with the letters. Then, based on the previous exercise, students go and circle the best option that complete the sentence. In this case, if you delay or perform doing something until you're dreaming, so in this case, they are complete the sentences according to the meaning of the word in the previous exercise. Okay, for main teaching input, the question, what could you do if our money didn't? What could you do if money didn't exist? So in this case, we are going to present some pictures uh, to generate some ideas for the students. Maybe if the mo if money didn't exist, I could. Okay, so with the picture they can infer, oh, I could travel. Yeah, yes, very good. Oh, maybe I could travel around the world. Yeah, yes, very good. Or maybe they can say if money didn't exist, I could have a lot of beautiful things. Or maybe I could go to the, to the beach to my favorite beat. And they, in listening, in listening and speaking activity, they follow some pattern into a conversation and practice in pairs. In this case, before that, they are going to listen a text and check after with the correct answers. That is, uh, that is related to the vocabulary word. So they have to com complete the sentence with the dream and distract, fantasize, or procrastinate. And after that, teacher makes some question about what they're reading about, uh, and they can underline what is the main structure of the second conditional. So that is a good point to reflect on grammar. Teacher explains what is the structure of the second conditional. The combination if plus could is just to talk about a real condition or fantasy. The sentence structure is in the first one or in the first conditional or in the, con the, the conditional clause, students complete with a bare in simple past tense. And in the result clause, a students complete with good and the pair in the base form. Look at the example. If money didn't exist, I could travel the world. Okay, that is related with the exercise in the reading, in the reading exercise. So they practice with the teacher and pay attention on the close order. It couldn't be in this case that the second con the second clause first goes first. It couldn't be possible to buy a house if money didn't exist. And the verb to be, when focus in this part, when you have the verb to be that is more formal or that is better used where inside you was. Look at this example. If I were able to fly, good and need to take planes, trains, or cars. 
example the sentences um, was taken were taken from the previous reading exercise good can be changed for other models not only can we use a good we can use also could if we're able to live with our sleep i could do and learn so much more let's present a grammar chart to practice some exercise with the students as a model teacher as a modeling teaching strategy okay so the e, e, explain a little more about the if clause with the condition and the result and what is the situation that second conditional is used to talk about impossible situation or unlikely situation use the correct form of the pair in parentheses to complete the dialogue is an activity for example the students have to complete if you want a million dollars what could you buy oh that's easy i could buy a big house next to the ocean in this part, teacher can offer a guide practice. Maybe in group of five students, they can complete the story using the correct verb in parentheses. In the second one, what could you do if you had superpowers? If I had superpowers, I could protect people from thieves. Ah, what about the letter C? If every day look at the conditional clause, so in this case goes with past simple, if every day had 25 hours, what could you do in the extra hour? So uh, focus the students or motivate they take into account that it's talk about, about uh, impossible things because they know that they have only that it has only 44 hours. Uh, if every day, the conditional close, if every day had 25 hours, so the second, con the second close, the result close, I could spend an extra hour playing basketball. So these are some exercise. For the speaking part, they can develop a conversation into pairs or maybe in the same group. And they have an scramble, first of all, the questions and answer. What could you, what could, what could you do if you found some diamond rings? And they can imagine their answer. The answers can vary in this case. If I find a diamond read, maybe, oh, I could sell it because I have money and I could buy a car. In the other case, for letter B and C, they have to, to develop the speaking, listen, the speaking skills and listening skills too, because they have to understand what the partner I, I, I am questioning for her or for him and they can be uh, able to answer with the, using the correct grammar structure in this case the second conditional for this part um, i like to share some live worship because uh, students have the opportunity to correct some mistakes I, in this case for example uh, that is in, in independent form. If he listened more carefully, go, please, students, you have to take into account, and in this case, you have the first clause, and that is in past simple. So what is the result clause? They complete. If, the, if he listening more carefully, he couldn't, because it's negative, wouldn't make so many mistakes. Do you think we will speak better if we, okay, so students take into account that in this case you have the close result, the result close, and would they speak better if we, in this case is past simple of the go of the go is went, went. If you explain that your problem to the manager, okay, so please take into account in this case is the first clause or the conditional clause. Explain it is in past simple. So in this case, it could be able to help you. 
perhaps he, ah, in this case, they have to realize what is the conditional clauses in this case, or in this case, is good. Okay, that is a good strategy to the students can recognize the second conditional. Okay, and they are going to practice in the next page, in the next part of the exercise. They have to match with the correct, um, with the correct sentence to finish the, um, the statement and complete the sentence using the second conditional in the third one. The um, an advantage of this of this live worship is the students can check your, the answers. If they are correct, for example, in this case, oh, I got two because I I didn't complete all the worship. So let's continue with the rest of the class. And after they have practiced with the worksheet, they as a teacher can send some homework to the first day they learned in class with the student book in the second part about the workbook they can complete some pages about the second conditional and about the vocabulary like in this case and this is all for this lesson plan thank you teacher goodbye